Week 2 of WBBL 06 saw 3 of the 12 matches just get washed out. The others took place and we have Sydney's, both the Sydney, Sydney Sixers, Pink and Sydney Thunder at the top. Here on Avnir presents the outside view part by WTF Sport. We look at week 2 of WBBL 06. Sydney Thunder have had a powerful performance in this week, haven't they? Won three games, two of which Heather Knight has scored a 50. What can you say about her form? Well, she's in incredible form. We saw through the West Indies series, she showed, she looked like she was hitting the ball really well and she seems to have just carried that into this uh, WBBL. And I mean, as far as Sydney Thunder go, I don't think, you know, many people thought that they would be at the top of the table. Maybe there was some talk of them qualifying for the top four, but, you know, to be at the top of the table and put in such incredibly powerful performances, like you said, is, is great to see. And it's the experienced hands of Knight and Haynes who are leading that. I mean, we had our uh, our reservations when we were previewing the teams as well as the tournament as to whether just some reinforcements in Sydney Thunder would make a difference, but it has really made a huge difference. And Heather Knight has been at the fore of it. Two fifties in this in these three games, uh, one of them a single digit score, but then again they went on to win it. And there she turned up with the ball four for three. You really can't keep her out of the game if not with the bat. She's doing it with the ball. Yeah, she's a golden arm. I mean, Charlotte Edwards has always said it that if England need a wicket, Heather Knight should come into the attack. And she's doing the same with Sydney Thunder as well. I mean, she also provides a, a bit of variety to the attack. I suppose she and Lauren Smith bowling off spin, complementing someone like Sam Bates. So, uh, they're using her really well. I think Rachel Haynes has been captaining them superbly, making sure that she utilizes the experienced players, which is, you know, really showing for them. Samantha Bates, of course, seven wickets in the last three games. Double wicket made it in just a single one that she bowled in that rain affected game. Wonderful. To see a spinner shine in matches affected by rain speaks volumes about, about Bates. Yeah, it does. And, and like you said, in that five over game, she came in and bowled a wicket made in with the new ball. And she's been one of those performers, performers for Sydney Thunder who's kind of flown under the radar since the very beginning. I think she's she's provided them with a lot of control and stability uh, with the new ball and in the middle overs. And, you know, to see her, like you wrote in your piece, uh, able to flight the ball and get it to dip and then turn is it's wonderful. It's been wonderful to watch her bowl through the through this first couple of weeks in the WBBL. Let's look. Uh, let's have a glance at the points table where we see Sydney Thunder and Sydney Sixers at the top, but Melbourne Renegades at the bottom. They're batting. You really can't understand what's wrong because Lizzie Lee, Erin Fezzekerly, Sophie Molyneux, Amy Sathetway, these are your top four and none of them has a score to speak of. Yeah, I guess, I mean, they would have expected a lot from someone like Liza Lee, but again, she's coming off a break of seven months, not having played anything. And I think that's kind of showing also, it looks like teams are bowling much uh, better to her. They're kind of bowling very tight lines, attacking her stumps, not allowing her to free her arms. And she, she hasn't found any rhythm at all. And I think that's what's really affecting their batting that, you know, all the onus is then on Amy Satterthwaite, who's playing a couple of good shots and then throwing it away and, Sophie Molyneux as well hasn't quite found her timing. So I think hopefully they'll, they'll in the next couple of weeks they're able to find some rhythm with the bat and you know maybe push themselves up that table. In the debate of whether T20 is a young person's game or an old one's or an experienced one for that matter, it's still something that is not resolved. And the past week showed us how the experienced pros in Knight, Rachel Haynes, Perry, etc. stepped up and gave, uh, had a lot to say in the success of their teams. Yeah, I mean, it, I think the way that all all of those players have used, uh, understood the conditions and kind of uh, managed their, I suppose, strategies according to those conditions has shown, uh, you know, has played a role in their team successes. I mean, Perry, the way she, uh, you know, understood the pace of the wicket and, and uh, you know, played a runner ball innings and allowed Sydney Sixers to you know get to a competitive total in that last game it, it just shows that you know you need to understand conditions and sometimes experience helps in those cases yes uh, you know youth is very exciting and it, it's great but sometimes it's it, what you need is a calm head on your shoulders and that's what that group has shown all right that's how the week panned out 
in WBBL 06. But remember, you have a chance to win goodies and hampers if you answer this question correctly. Remember to watch the video, the answer is there somewhere. The question is, which batter scored 250s in the last three games of her team this week? Remember to send your answers in the comment section. Last week's winner is... That's a wrap from this week's WBBL 06 summary. Keep watching. Avnir presents the Outside View part by WTF Sports.